Last time I met with Tiga Brain, whose art highlights our complicated relationship with technology. Today, we'll zoom out to see the bigger picture with her guest and collaborator, Sam Levine. This is Art and Technology. Tiga Brain, Sam Levine. Let's make this conversation even more multidimensional. Where in the world are you, Sam? In Brooklyn, New York. Actually in the same uh, building that Tiga is in at the moment. No way. Yeah. You're an artist who looks at serious ideas like data and surveillance, but your work's actually quite funny. So what is your motivation and how can you turn things that could really bog us down into something that makes us chortle? I guess that there's something sort of inherently absurd in the idea that everything that we do online and offline is being tracked and recorded. Facebook's mission is not to connect us to each other. It's to connect us to advertisers and drawing out those absurdities and sometimes those contradictions is something I'm really interested in doing. Tiga, what do you think of Sam's art? <laughs> oh, I love Sam's art because it's so funny. Making jokes out of emerging technologies is a really excellent way to kind of open up a space for conversations about them. And Sam, how did you discover Tiga's art? A friend of mine told me that Tiga had this really interesting idea for a project about smell, which I think you guys talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then we just, we started just working together on a pretty regular and, and frequent basis. Sniffed each other out. <laughs> Did you always expect to become an artist? No, I never thought I would be an artist, but I was always really interested in literature and in readings and thinking about language and narrative and rhetoric is also something that's really influenced my work and a lot of my collaborations with Tika as well. You teach yes. a class called Scrapism. Please explain what web scraping is. <laughs> So web scraping is just when you write a computer program to uh, download material from the web. And it's useful because you can automate processes to collect huge quantities of data. So you can say, well, what can we learn about power based on collecting material from the internet? And so a project that Tig and I did is called New York Apartment. And what we did is we scraped every single for sale real estate listing in New York, and then we kind of combined all of those listings together into this nightmarish experience of real estate in New York. I love that. It makes us feel less alone. I think in our work together, we're often trying to put a slightly different perspective on an issue and really create an opportunity to pay close attention to it. <laughs> Let's talk about the future. What will people be finding charming or quaint about the internet right now? We've seen social media really cause division and privatise platforms, hoard data. I do think the shine has really come off and I think that there's much more scepticism. I think that the idea that will seem the most quaint was the idea that like capitalism could get us out of the climate crisis, like, that we could like invent tech to like solve the crisis without doing anything else. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to seem even more extremely naive with hindsight. We have an audience question. Are you ready? If you could be a fly on the wall anywhere in the world, where would it be? And who would you be watching? I would like to be a fly on the wall in some of these carbon offset projects that we're seeing that seem really questionable. I, of course, always want to troll myself. I don't want to have a nice time. So I think there's like a lot of terrible conversations going on that I'd love to be a part of. Thank you both so much. I enjoyed delving into your minds and the sense of playfulness gives us all hope. So cheers. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gemma. It is conclusive that the scale of information that we have available on the internet today can be quite overwhelming. But where will we be in the next 50 years? I guess we'll have to see what our future artists come up with next. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.